Hi guys, it's your girl Jessica you here and welcome to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be an amalgamation of a bunch of stuff. So Easter weekend is coming and I know that a lot of people would have a lot of things to do. You know, there's going to be concerts, there's going to be family lines, there's going to be trips to the beach, there's going to be sports days. You know, Easter weekend in Trinidad is really a time where a lot goes on. Now, I have been seeing a trend on YouTube lately where fashion bloggers and bloggers have been doing a style challenge. So today I decided that my style challenge would be the little black dress challenge. I'm going to see how much looks I can get from a little black dress. Additionally, I didn't just want to make it a fashion video, I also wanted to do some DIYs for you all inside of that. So I have decided to do five pants DIYs. I did various types of pants, I did some shorts, I did some jeans, and I did some tights. And I did five of them just so you can see some various looks that you can get. A lot of the times we have a lot of stuff in our closet and we open it and we don't see anything to wear. And probably you've had these things for a long time and you know you've worn it and you can't see anything else to do with it. So why not revamp some old clothing and give it a new purpose. I am really excited with how they are going to come out. So let's get to the video but before we do that if this is your first time on my channel hey don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications every time that i post i post videos every wednesday and sometimes on sundays and i do a lot of fashion lifestyle and diy videos I think they're really cool, I think they're really fun, and I find that I'm coming up with new and innovative and fun ways to do different things. So, if you want to be a part of the Jessica family, hit that button. Alright, let's get into the video. The first day I that we're going to do are funky printed shorts, and I'm going to be taking some jeans here, and as you can see, I have already measured where I want it to fit on me, where I want it to stop, so I just made a mark there. Now I'm going to put both jeans, both sides of the jeans together, like this, just to make sure that when I go into cut, it is going to be equal, and you wanna make sure before you cut, that everything is really lined up properly see that would have been a mistake but you want to make sure that it's lined up like it's supposed to be so that you get a nice clean cut and here I'm using some fabric shears because that is the better, better scissors to use when using fabric especially on something like jeans so this is what my jeans look like cut and I love the length and now I am going to be using some acrylic paint, paint brushes and a little plate that I use for mixing. I just want to dab out a little bit of paint here and I'm going to go in with my design. This is just a design that I found on the internet and I thought it was pretty cool so I used part of that design and then some other parts just whatever came into my brain. As you can see, I'm not starting from the bottom of the pants and that's because the bottom is going to be cuffed. That means that it's going to be rolled up. So I'm starting from some way away from the bottom. Approximately three inches. And you don't have to use the same design that I use. You really can do whatever you feel like doing. I just really wanted to try this design and I think this is something that I possibly would do again and I might do it on a full length pants this time and do you know, a more intricate design probably with some other colors. So you guys can let me know in the comment section if that is something that you would be interested in. Another point to note is that it may be better to start from the top and work your way down or turn the pants upside down. That's just because 
it will be kind of difficult maneuvering around the paint that you've already painted and that is why I made a little bit of a mess there. But I covered it so it's not that bad. And now I'm just going to do the cup at the bottom and as you can see I'm using a length of one and a half inches for my cup so it, I just want to measure that to make sure that it is equal on both legs and on every side of the leg and I'm just going to go in with some glue and I'm using glue just because I try to do DIYs for people who don't have a sewing machine but I would sew it after. So as you can see I've just paired it here with some yellow leggings and a throw over and some cute funky sneakers and I just cuffed in the dress of it. The second DIY that we're going to do I just really wanted to make some holes into you know a jeans I wanted to do some distressed jeans so as you can see I'm just going to mark out where I want my distressed parts to be and I'm going to do a big hole on the left side and then do some real distressing on the right thigh and do a hole on the right knee so you just want to pinch the fabric just to make a hole that your scissors can go through and then you can cut out to your heart's content And now I'm taking some tweezers and what you want to do is pull all the horizontal pieces of string and that would leave the vertical pieces of string which are the white ones. As you can see that is the look that I ended up getting. Now onto the knee, I am just taking my exacto blade or you can use a razor blade, just be careful with it and I'm just going to go in and make little distressed um, patches at the knee. I'm really just scraping it as much as I can to get a distress and as you can see I'm going to do the same thing on the thigh and here I've used a piece of bristol board on the inside just to make sure that I don't form a hole in the back of the jeans as well. So that's just for protection and I'm just going in with my razor blade again just trying to get it as distressed as possible so you can see what happens when you use the blade. So for this look, I have decided to pair it with some fishnet stockings. This is a look I have wanted to try for a very long while and I've also paired it with some black boots. I have rolled the bottom of the pants to cuff it and some funky jewelry. Our third look is going to be really cute. I am going to be doing some pearl featured jeans. So here I have some old jeans and I'm just going to make some slits again as well but this time I'm using my blade and that's just because I wanted it to have a really distressed look without having to distress it. So you can see that I automatically get a semi distressed look. I'm just making a few slits, not too much for this look but I wanted to add some of these really cute small gold safety pins just to give it a bit of a grunge look to a more demure styling with all the pearls. So I've added the safety pins and now these are my pearls and I'm using Yuhu or Papers Glue. You can also use E6000 glue or um, some equivalent 
very strong glue. Now these pearls have holes in them and you can choose to sew them, which I'm going to go back and do, but for the purpose of this video, I am just showing you all the simple way for those of you who do not have a sewing machine. So I'm also adding some pearls to the cuff at the bottom. And again, I'll sew the cuff into place so it would not be movable. But this is what I'm doing and you can choose to add more or less pearls to your content. So for this look, I have paired it with a faux fur jacket and some really cute flats and a yellow belt and some pearls. For our fourth DIY, I am going to be doing the first of the two leggings and this one is really, really simple. I'm going to make it look sort of like stockings, you know, when you add, when you have knee high stockings or thigh high stockings, sorry, and you just add that clip in between it. I don't know if you all know what I'm talking about, but it's a really cute look. So this is just a really simple way to get it done and you can make your holes bigger or smaller as you see fit. I suggest that you make it a little smaller just because it's going to stretch a bit after it's cut and you want to make sure that you line up your pants, your leggings, sorry, very well because you do not want to have it lopsided after it's cut. So just make sure that it's properly lined and you're going to take your fabric shears again and cut both sides of the leggings together. You're just going to cut out the two semi-circles and that's it. It's really, really simple. When you finish cutting, you just want to pull it to make sure that the edges roll in a bit so they don't look back row. So this is what it looks like and as I said, it's a really simple DIY for a really, really cute look. And for this look, I have decided to pair it with an infinity scarf and some brown boots. These boots can either be worn up or they can be folded down as well. And it really is just a very, very cute look. And if I do say so, I think my thighs look wonderful. <laughs> And for our fifth and final DIY, I'm going in with some leggings again and I'm just going to be taking some board and I'm going to cut some patterns into it. What you want is a big diamond or rhombus and then two big triangles and then the small or medium sized rhombus and two small triangles and that's because as you go further down the leggings it tapers so you just want to account for that taper and I'm just taking my marker and I'm going to draw it out now this one is a bit tedious it really does take some time but I promise you it's going to be worth it one suggestion that I have is that you do the spacing a lot bigger than I did and that's just because again when you put it on it's going to stretch and it's going to end up coming out much smaller than you think it would so you want to have you know enough space in between just so you can really see the beauty of the pattern so i just did it on the both legs and this is what it looks like And now I want to go in with my scissors. You can use scissors or you can use a blade, but for the type of fabric that my leggings were, it was easier to do with scissors. And it is a very tedious process. You want to be very careful. Just make a slit. If you can fit your scissors through, you can go ahead and cut. And you want to be very careful with this. Take your time. And this is what it comes out looking like. As you can see the taper. So for this look, I paired it with some blue strappy heels and also I have this blue and white necklace that looks, you know, a bit sailorish and I love it. And this hat that I got from Samaru's actually for $75. Guys, weren't they awesome? Didn't they come out great? I told you all it was going to be a good one. And I'm really pleased with how everything came out. I think they all look 
awesome and I'm pleased with how the styling of the various things came out I know to some people a lot of them might be a bit you know out there but I style them based on my personal styling of course you can choose to adjust it to your personal styling so for instance with the very yellow stockings yes that was a very Jessica thing to do I am the type of person that wears colored stockings that's me and the um the styling with the fishnets on the inside that is something that I've wanted to do for such a long time and I've finally gotten some fishnets to be able to do it so I was excited about doing that you do not have to do the same if your styling is different that is all well and good but I just wanted to give you all some ideas of how this one article of clothing could be worn in so much different ways as you see I have used a bodycon um, short little black dress you know a really short one that I would not wear by itself so you can choose to do it with something like what I have on or you can choose to do it with a more traditional type of little black dress you know all these styles may not fit or they may depending on how you like to wear your clothes at the end of the day listen if you are happy and you are comfortable with how you look nobody can tell you not. you're looking good girl rockets yes <laughs> <laughs> but I just really wanted to do something that I know that I personally would wear. I would wear each and every one of those pants that I did. I am so serious. I am so pleased with how they came out. So, for this Easter weekend, if you manage to see me walking around, most likely I'm going to have on one of those pants because I'm really excited to get them on and to wear it. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Is please don't forget to check out the Jessie Q website that is jessieq.co I do a lot of blogging on there about various things and also these videos are also linked to that website and I know that it's a, a bit you know quiet on the Jessie Q website as of recent as I would have explained in my last video I was just having some technical difficulties we're sorting it out and we're gonna be back very very soon with that for you guys so keep staying tuned because plenty good stuff is coming I have a lot of things backlog that I have been working on, just haven't been able to actually post them. Also, feel free to check out the Stitched website that is at stitchshoptt.com where you can see my design business and also the sneakers that I had on in the Lizzie Look with the yellow stockings. Those sneakers are part of the Stitched Sneaks line and you can get them at that website. So again, that is stitchedshoptt.com. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope that you like it and you share it with your friends. If you see anything here that you know that you would like to try, you know, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know which look is your favorite. I would really like to know because I don't have a favorite. Let me know what which ones you would try and which ones are your favorite. And also, if you have any style challenges or any DIY ideas or anything that you would like me to try, just feel free to let me know. You can message me on my Instagram, on my Jessie Q Facebook page, or you can just leave your comments in the comment box down below. Thank you so much for checking it out, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter weekend.